The county's Hispanic population was hit hard by COVID-19 this summer, with 30% of patients in the county identifying as Hispanic, while the county is only about 9% Hispanic. Since then, outreach efforts have been underway to help Spanish speakers navigate the pandemic. And 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell has an update. Testing data from Prisma Health suggests the coronavirus isn't as widespread in the Hispanic community as it was earlier this summer. Someone who works with the Spanish speaking community in this area tells me having testing sites at familiar places like La Unica Grocery has helped. For five years, Ruth Rivera has been working with the Hispanic population as part of Prisma Health's PASAS organization, which works to connect Spanish speakers with health resources. She was busy reaching out about COVID-19 when it hit close to home. Of course, it would happen to me. It spread through her family, and she and her father ended up in the hospital. We're both doing much, much, much better. Now she's trying to use her experience to help others in the Hispanic community, which has been hit disproportionately hard by the virus. And said, well, this will really help the fact that I am going through all of it, especially being hospitalized, is going to help me educate my community about it. She said her story helped more people reach out to her, and she was able to ease some fears about going to the hospital. So it's reassuring that part of saying, it's okay, you know, we have medical interpreters that will help you through the whole process. Um, staff is ready for you, and uh, you will be well taken care of. Data from Prisma Health's testing showed 42% of Hispanic people who were tested for the virus in May were positive. That number now hovers around 30%, which is significantly higher than the statewide rate of percent positive tests. Jennifer Snow also works with Prisma Health to reach vulnerable communities. I still think there's a lot of work to be done in the upstate community, but I think we've made a lot of progress and the positivity rates are, are reflecting that work. That work includes testing, education, radio ads, giving out masks, and help with things like rent and utilities. Rivera says the next step is to continue to educate about the virus. Lavémonos las manos, eh, protejámonos, pongámonos máscara. Nos pueden contactar con Pasos Greenville, 864-395-9443. Gracias. DHEC has also said it's been offering testing and more outreach in the Hispanic community. In Greenville County and Maxwell, 7 News. Rivera said Peso's 11-year history of working with the Hispanic community has built trust that's been helpful for outreach in this pandemic.